In this video, you're going to learn what a Jacobian vector product is and how to use that in the Jax deep learning framework. Let's get started. Hi and welcome to this new video. Jax is a Python framework for deep learning that consists of high performance array computation as well as automatic differentiation. Automatic differentiation allows us to differentiate arbitrary computer codes. Here I have a vector valued function that maps from a four dimensional vector space to a three dimensional vector space. So if we create an evaluation point vector in JAX by using jnp.array and then for instance use the coordinates 1, 0 0.5, 1.5 and 2.0, then we can query this function at the evaluation point and produce another three-dimensional vector. JAX allows us to easily obtain the Jacobian. The Jacobian is a matrix that is given by the derivative of the function with respect to its input. So you can think of it as df by dx. And here we are working in the numerator layout. So we expect this matrix to be a three by four dimensional matrix. And we can obtain that by using one of Jack's function transformations. And I want to call this the full Jacobian. And this one is jax.jackfvd. And jackfvd stands for Jacobian forward, which means that Jax is using forward mode automatic differentiation in order to obtain that. It requires us to hand over a function, which is this vector valued function, and then this returns another function, which is of a similar input signature to our original function. So it also takes an four dimensional vector x, but instead of returning a three dimensional vector, it is returning the Jacobian that is three by four dimensional. So let's also evaluate that at the evaluation point and then we get our full Jacobian which is 3 by 4 dimensional. You can also check that with the shape. Now what is a Jacobian vector product? A Jacobian vector product is now using this Jacobian matrix and perform a matrix vector product with a vector from the right. So in essence a Jacobian vector product is df by dx matrix multiplied with a vector v. For this, let's create a multiplication point. And since we are right multiplying it, this one has to be of the shape as the column dimension of our Jacobian. So it has to be four dimensional as well. And here let's take these arbitrary selected numbers of 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0 0.8. And then we can obtain the result of the Jacobian vector product by doing full Jacobian matrix multiplied, so using the add sign and the multiplication point. And then we are of course getting a three-dimensional vector which is given by these rows. Now we've seen the essence of a Jacobian vector product. Obtaining the Jacobian matrix df by dx and then matrix multiplying it with a vector v from the right side. However, the implementation we chose here could also be thought of as a naive implementation because we are first obtaining the full and dense Jacobian and then performing the matrix multiplication. We can use Jax tools from automatic differentiation to automatically obtain the result of that derivative without explicitly computing the Jacobian. So we will use a Jax function to obtain the result of the Jacobian vector product and that is also often called JVP without explicitly computing the Jacobian matrix. Also check out the next video where we will do a benchmark and show that the approach using the JVP intrinsic of Jax is considerably faster with certain styles of Jacobians. Well, but how does that work now? And for this, we will use Jax.JVP for Jacobian vector product. The interface might take a little bit of time to get used to. So first of all, we have to provide the function for which we want to take the Jacobian. Then we have to provide the primals and then the tangents. What are primals and tangents? Primals are the points at which the Jacobian shall be evaluated. So this is the input x to our function. The tangents is the vector with which we want to multiply. These names arise from so-called differentiable geometry, but this is not really relevant here. How does that work for us? So we have to be a little bit careful that we use tuples. So we will use a tuple for the primals and the primals are of course the evaluation point and then a comma. So I say the primals are a tuple with the evaluation point just and then the tangents are also a tuple with the multiplication point 
and then comma. Why do we have to use a tuple here? And that's because potentially we could have multiple inputs to the function. So for instance, consider a function which not only takes x, but also y or z for whatever reason. Then this function is more general and also allows us to produce Jacobian vector products in that particular case. We have to be careful that the structure of the primals has to be identical to the structure of the tangents. Well, what does that function return? Maybe we can just execute it and then we see it returns two device arrays. So two functional arrays. And maybe we can match them. So the second one we've already seen here that is the result of the naive Jacobian vector product result. And the first one, we've also seen it. It was the evaluation of f at the evaluation point. So what this returns is an evaluation of the function f as well as an evaluation of the Jacobian vector product. So let me make that a little bit more verbose and say f evaluated and jvp evaluated. And in the terminology of JAX, this is also called primals out, and this is then called tangents out. And the reason this function also returns f evaluated, although we are probably primarily interested in the result of the JVP, is that because it uses forward mode automatic differentiation, which also includes an evaluation of f. And this has to be done anyways, so it also provides us with this information such that we can shorten certain computations. And that's it about the Jacobian vector product in JAX as a shortcut or a faster way to perform these multiplication of Jacobian matrices with vectors from the right. Also tune in for the next video where we will do the benchmark. A big thanks to all the patrons of the channel. If you also want to support my vision of free education on these advanced mathematical topics, you will find the link to the Patreon page down in the video description. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. There are more videos on JAX here. Here you will now see similar videos as well as a playlist. I hope to see you in one of the next videos.